getting uh, more leaked cards. So these cards can be uh, released whenever. I don't know when we're going to get these, but it, it's looking pretty questionable. Because right now, obviously, that's Sonic Chick, which it comes out like kind of blocked for you guys. Uh, let, me, let me see if I can actually fix that. All right. But there it is. We got Sonic Chick. So it's there. Cannot be destroyed by battle with the monster that had it. It's basically, uh, what's his name? Obnoxious Celtic Guardian. So, yeah, we got the little DN Vajriana. <laughs> of course, dude, of course. Uh, so, yeah, Sonic Chick is a Yusei card. I mean, I don't know how we're going to be getting this. Um, the fact that we're getting Sonic Chick, and you know it's obviously a, a Yusei, like, staple card. Like, that's one of his um, signature cards. Um, I was, I'm wondering, what kind of event are we getting for Yusei? Like, what are we getting for him that gives us Sonic Chick? I don't know. I don't know. It might even come in the next box. This might be like potential early leaks for the next box, but they probably would have labeled it as early leaks for the next box. Uh, next up, we got convert or convert contract, uh, and this is what Neo Neo Spatian support. Holy crap! If you control no monsters, send two Neo Spatian monsters, one from your hand and one from your deck to the graveyard, then draw two cards. Well, the fact I mean, it's a pretty good draw card for Neo Spatians. Uh, Fabled Grimro. Uh, but yeah, Fabled are a Synchro Archetype, if you guys don't know. And this is going to be a UR for some reason. This is, I mean, I don't know if they're going to make this a, uh, a, what do you, like, rank ticket thing, rank duels thing, because there's a lot of Fabled. And when you see that many Fabled, it's either potentially leaked for a new box, or maybe, I don't think it's going to be a structure deck. It could be a Fabled structure deck, but I don't, I don't think so. Fabled isn't really the kind of deck that would get a structure deck. But whatever, we got Fabled. Uh, fabled Grimro, uh, and it says if you control a face-up fabled monster you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard and add one fabled monster from your deck to your hand except fabled Grimro. okay so it's a searcher not bad send uh, one card from your hand to the grave add a fabled that's pretty good because you get all the effects of fabled being sent to the grave so ooh, that's pretty good right there uh, I mean, she's a UR for a reason, dude. She's a UR for a reason. 1700 attack, too, so she's a really good beater. So, not bad at all. Actually, she's really good. And then we got the Fabled Raven that I, I, I would always run in Dark Worlds. I would run this guy in Dark Worlds because it actually gives you the discard effect. Uh, it says, once per turn, you can discard any number of cards. And if you do, this card gains one level and 400 attack for each discarded card until the end of the turn. So, it's really good for Synchros because this is a tuner. You get to summon it, discard, depending on what level you need. So it can be, it can open up more uh, toolbox synchro decks, and you know how I love those. You know how I love them toolbox synchro decks. Um, but yeah, RNG, we need a little D20. Maybe, maybe I'll me. <laughs> that actually sounds like a good idea. M maybe at some point I'll, I'll do like a mini mini stream kind of thing uh, for that. Um, but yeah, Fabled Raven, pretty interesting card. Actually, actually a good SR. Uh, next up, we got all the rare fables or, or rare fabled. Uh, so we have a synchro. Fabled of Valkyrus over here, which is one Fabled tuner, one or non, one or more non-tuner monsters. Uh, once per turn, you can discard one Fiend type monster to draw one card. That's actually really good, a, a really good effect. He's a 2,900 beater too, so he's, he's just really big. He's a level eight, so it's like if you can make Stardust, you can make this guy, uh, except with Fabled. So I don't know, uh, but yeah, it wouldn't be, it would would be great the NPCs Fabled cards. Um, do they, are the NPCs playing Fabled? I don't remember. I don't know. Uh, Raven with Ganosh equals Ancient Fairy. Uh, Raven with Ganosh? Oh, you, yeah, the elephant, you mean? Are you talking about the elephant? Probably. Uh, probably, actually. Wait, are you a three? No, you're a th mm, three and three. Is Gan Ganosh? Uh, that's a level three, I think. So it, it does not equal Ancient Fairy. It would equal uh, six. So, it, but it does let you synchro, though. Uh, Fable in box equals shut up and take my gems. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if we're getting. I don't know if this is early leaks for the next box. Uh, this is something you gotta ask Dual Leaks Meta and, and, his, and his community because apparently they, they put this out here. These are just additional leaks. Uh, but yeah, so there's that one. There's uh, the fabled Kudab Kudabi. So level four. Oh, a level four. Oh, finally a level four synchro, dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Sai opens wallet. I know, guys. Uh, but let's see. So this one, it's uh, Kudabi over here. So one Fable Tuner, one or more non-Tuner non monsters. All right, cool. Uh, so this is a level four. So this is something unique we're getting to the game. Finally, a level four uh, Synchro. Uh, if this card, or this card gains the following effect based on the number of cards in your hand. So 
Uh, it, well, hold on. Let me, let me read that, dude, in your hand. So it says zero. This card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Three or more, destroy this card during the end phase. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, you better have, like, either two, one, or zero cards. So there is that. Uh, so I guess that's the way to make this guy work. What is his attack, by the way? 2200. It looks like an interesting meme card. It, it looks interesting, like an interesting meme. Uh, but there, there's at least a level 4 synchro for you. Uh, next, we got Fabled Kushano. Uh, this is a level 3. All right, not bad, not bad. Uh, you can discard one Fabled monster. Of course, most of these guys work like art, uh, blah, blah, work like uh, uh, Dark Worlds, where they let you discard their, their own stuff, and they get effects when discarded. So, you can discard one Fabled monster to the graveyard, except a Fabled Kushano, to add this card from your graveyard to your hand. Uh, that's... I mean, yeah, I guess that makes sense because you discard, you get the effect of that card that would discard it, and then this guy gets his effect too, so he gets to come back. That's okay. That's that's all right, and gives you more discard fodder. But this one doesn't exactly get anything from being discarded, so there's that. But it is a level three tuner, so that's there's um, there's something for you. Uh, Nate, Nate, next we got Fabled Cruz over here, a scary little girl, dude. Uh, when this card is discarded to the grave, select one level four or lower Fabled monster in grave. Except this card, then special summon it. See, that's a good, that's a good Fabled right there. Um, depending on the on the Fabled we get, uh, Arn, uh, Almir saying, RNG, do you like Fortnite? No, I don't. I don't play Fortnite. <laughs> I don't. I've never touched Fortnite in my life, dude. Uh, so there's. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I, I I don't. I'm not into Fortnite. All I do is play Duel Links, and I, I started playing Smash recently. Uh, but yeah, there's that. Uh, so this this card looks pretty good, depending on the on the a thousand attack or less cards we get, uh, Fabled at least. So interesting, interesting. Uh, next up, we got uh, what is this? Fabled Mistoji. Mistoji. Uh, another tuner, dude. Wow, they have so many tuners. <laughs> thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Wow, dude. Okay, GG. But yeah, I, I don't, I don't play, I don't play Fortnite either. I just, I just don't. Uh, but this is an N, all right. So this is the normal. Um, okay, level two tuner. Uh, you can send this card from your hand to the grave. Select one face-up fabled monster you control. The selected monster is treated as a tuner. Dude, I think we have enough tuners. <laughs> I think we have enough dude. All, all of them are tuners. Uh, this card, this is selected monster is treated as a tuner while well, face-up on the field. Well, that's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, so you send it from the from the hand to the grave, make a face-up fabled a tuner. That's not bad. Tuna City. Exactly, dude, exactly. Uh, so the fabled Nuzuchi. So the fabled Nuzuchi over here says during... Uh, wait, why is it Nuzuchi? Is, isn't that like a... No, I don't know if it was a reference to the uh, this, this Japanese snake of legend. <laughs> it's like a little fat snake. Uh... But I, I forgot the name of it. Uh, during your main phase, you can discard one fabled monster and special summon this card from your hand. That's pretty good. It's it's tricky. It's the tricky. That's not bad. Uh, when this card is special summoned this way, you can special summon one level two or, or level one or two lower fabled monster from your hand. Dude, how how many effects do you have? So first of all, during the main phase, you can discard one fabled monster to special summon this card from your hand. That's a really good effect. So it's tricky. You discard a thing. Yeah, the Tsuchinoko. The Suchinoku is a little legendary, like fat snake. Uh, it, it sounds like it, but I don't know. Uh, but but it's because it says uh, chi at the very end, nozu nozu chi, and it's also a little fat snake. So there's that. Uh, but whatever. So it's it seems like a really good card, but it's an N. Why is it an N? Let me let me let me see if we can find out why this card's an N. Let's read it carefully. Uh, so during the main phase, which is when you're gonna make all your plays, you can discard a fabled monster and special summon this card from your hand. So you discarded the fabled, the fabled discarded get, gets its effect as well. Uh, when this card is special summoned this way, you can special summon one level two, one level one or two lower. Or bleh. why is that so? Why is that so difficult for me to read? Well, you can special summon one level two or lower fabled monster from your hand. So t still technically a level one or two monster. It, it doesn't matter how you read it. It means the same thing. You get to bring out a, a little a, a weak uh, fabled. Uh, so in the end, you can pretty much summon this guy. He's a level two. Uh, he's not too strong. He's 1200 attack. Maybe that's the downside of it. Uh, it's not going to be a beater. If this guy was like 1800 attack, it'd probably be an SR. Uh, but yeah, th that effect looks pretty interesting. So you get him out. And you get another like level two, so that's an instant level four right there. So that's pretty cool. Um, and plus whatever you discarded gets his effect too, which some of them can be discarded and then they get to summon themselves. So um, it's a good snack. It's a good snack, dude. Uh, and then next up we got the fabled Peg Pegulsus. Pegulsus. 
over here. So another tuner. <laughs> Hi, RNG. Greetings from Austria. Andres. Uh, shout out to you, man. What's up, man? How you doing? <laughs> We we covering all this stuff, but I have I have power outages that keep killing my stream. Uh, but yeah, this one it looks okay. Let, let, let's read. It's a level one. Holy crap! When this card is discarded to the graveyard, you can special summon it face down. Oh, well, it's only face face down means you can't synchro with it. With it, it's kind of annoying. Uh, when this card is flipped face up, you can reveal one fabled monster in your hand and send one fabled monster from your deck to the grave. Well, that's kind of interesting. It depends how they work. I think most of them have to be discarded. Uh, discarded not sent from the deck to the grave so i don't know if you're going to be getting any, anybody's effect but you can i think you can send fabled sokius and some something like that and then he can get his effect so eh, there's that rng has the iq of logan paul it, uh, may, maybe after i haven't slept okay defense i don't know about that one uh, and here's where we get interesting guys silent swordsman is coming to the game now we're done with the fabled patch now we're going to be getting silent swordsman well if you guys know silent magician herself was just really op uh but now we're getting silent swordsman dude imagine the silent swordsman otks holy crap dude the silent swordsman otks but with this card Let, let's read this card let's see what this card does because i legitimately do not know what this does so when are we going to be getting this it's going to be another another one of those like uh pay to win uh what are they called structure decks just like the first uh, Silent Magician one, maybe. Uh, or like the Blue Eyes one. Uh, so, let's see. Silent Swordsman. Uh, what is it? Level 4. So, there you go. Level 4. Easy to summon. 1,000 of 1,000 stats. Uh, effect does state. Cannot be normal summoner set, just like Silent Waifu. Uh, must be special summoned from your hand by tributing one warrior monster. And cannot be special summoned, by the way. So, exactly like the Waifu, dude. Ooh, okay. Uh, so... This, ah, this is gonna be so cool. This is gonna be so cool for just warrior decks because it spices them up so good. So, uh, once per turn during the standby phase, this card gains 500 attack. Okay, it's a slow, uh, slow power up. Not bad. So, it's just every turn he gains 500. Once per turn during either player's turn, when a spell card is activated, you can negate the activation. Oh, just like the waifu. Oh, so the waifu and the husbando are both here together, dude. Uh, you can negate the activation. If this card is destroyed by battle, or if it's or, or this card in its owner control is destroyed, whoa, whoa, whoa. Or if this card in its owner's control is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, if it's destroyed, you can special summon one silent swordsman monster from your hand or deck, except silent swordsman, ignoring its summoning condition. So it's it's exactly like silent waifu, except I think silent waifu, I feel I think she feels a little bit better. Because she gets powered up depending on the number of cards in hand. So, I've seen double Silent Waifu at 4,000 attack. That that seems to be very common. This guy seems like he's going to be a lot slower. Because this card gains 500 attack. Pretty much uh, during the standby phase. So, he's a lot slower. But, the thing is, remember, they, they probably don't want to attack him. Because this guy goes into, uh, si what is it, Silent Swordsman, uh, the highest level, which whatever we have, level 7. Who, I might have to look into his effect. Hold on, I'm Googling it. I am looking at Silent Swordsman level 7 right now. It says, cannot be a normal summoner set. Must be special summoned by Silent Swordsman level 5. Cannot be special summoned by other ways. Negate all spell effects on the field. Is that worth summoning? I mean, he's 2,800 attack. I mean, I guess that's okay. But, I mean, I feel like Silent Waifu is just better than this guy. I, I feel like she's better. Because, I mean, the level 7, it it's 2,800. It's it could still get wrecked by a Blue Eyes. Uh, Silent Waifu can kill Blue Eyes, so ask Dr. Google, exactly, that's what I did. Uh, so, uh, but the other one just says no to all spells, so, okay. But, yeah, I think we might be getting uh, another structure deck for this guy. Uh, I, we just might, uh, but whatever, what else we got? We got, ooh, E-Hero Support, Elemental Hero, Solid Soldier, what is this guy? Alright, so this guy, level 4, alright, 1300 attack, he's pretty weak, uh, but it does say... And he's an SR, by the way. Uh, when this card is normal summoned, you can special summon one level 4 or lower hero monster from your hand. Okay. So it's kind of like a, dr a Drill Dark, right? Um, yeah, except he's he's not a he's not a Destiny hero. So, pretty cool. Uh, summon a hero from your hand. GG. If this card... And it's, it's a hero, so it doesn't even have to be E-Hero. It could be Destiny hero. It could be any hero. Not bad. Uh, if this card is sent from the monster zone to the graveyard by spell effect... You can target one hero monster in your grave, except uh, himself. Special summon in defense. Okay, pretty cool. Uh, wait, is this any any spell effect? Even yours? Sent from the monster... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I had to dink down on it. Um, is sent from the monster zone by spell effect. There's mass change? 
If you mass change, dude, are we getting, are we getting, uh, what's his name, um, Dion or whatever, the, the Earth mass change monster? I, I don't remember what it is. I really don't remember. You can target one hero monster in the grave. So he, he, like, pretty much revives a hero in the grave if you, like, mass change him away. But I don't know if we have any Earth mass heroes. I don't, I don't think we do. Um, maybe. Um, and then last up, we got Trust Guardian, and we still have to go over the other, other URs. But we got Trust Guardian right now. Uh, attribute light level three another tuner another fairy tuner dude uh we only have fire water and dark for mass change rip dude i guess with poly poly would work so if you, if you fuse you get all uh, you get your stuff back so there you go fire dark water gg um this card cannot be used as synchro material monster except for a synchro of a level seven or higher monster okay uh once per turn that synchro monster cannot be destroyed by Ooh, okay once per turn, that synchro monster cannot be destroyed by battle. You ask for good tuners and you get them, dude. This, this is actually pretty interesting. So you, you tune with this guy and your monster is just cannot be destroyed once per turn. That's pretty cool. Um, so it says uh, that synchro monster cannot be destroyed once per once, uh, yeah. That monster cannot be destroyed by battle. Okay, that synchro monster cannot be destroyed by battle. Each time this effect is applied, the synchro monster loses 400 attack and defense. All right, never mind. It's not that good. <laughs> That is a Jack card, is it? So, it, I don't know. May, maybe this is hinting at some Jack support. Uh, it, it's pretty cool, though. It's pretty cool. Uh, but the whole, like, loses 400 attack and defense, I guess it's good once or twice, which is all you really need. It's not like you're going to be protecting your guy, like, till he goes down to zero. Um, or maybe, hopefully. <laughs> but and then then we have, ooh, Avenging Knight Parseth. Oh, my goodness. We're finally getting this thing. I don't think this is the extremely busted one that came out in TCG. But uh, let's let's see what this one is. Fairy Synchro level eight. We're getting we're getting Avenging Knight. We're getting more Parshad support. Holy crap! Uh, so Fairy Synchro one tuner one more. Okay, we need light tun non tuners. Okay, I thought it was legit like just generic. I was about to say I was like holy crap. Uh, once per turn you can target one face up monster your opponent controls. Change that target's battle position. All right, that's pretty decent. If this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing. Of course, of course. So it, it puts them in defense and then it gets them. So it lines them right up and then gets right in there. So pretty good. I mean, Avenging a Knight Parshef. Uh, it's a level eight. So what, what are you going to do? Level, level, oh, what are you going to go for? Um, uh, Parshef and Trust Guardian? <laughs> Normal Parshef and Trust Guardian? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, and then last up, we got Doom Caliber Knight, which looks pretty good, I have to say. So Doom Caliber Knight. If I remember correctly, it uh, negates a thing, right? Uh, cannot be special summoned, okay? During either player's turn, if a monster effect is activated, tribute this card, negate the activation if you destroy that monster. That's, that's a pretty good effect because otherwise it's a 1900 beater. So it kind of works like Sandman. So not bad. Doom Calibur is actually a really good card. You are. Uh, if they activate an effect, you just, nope, negate. And you send them away and now they have no monster for the turn. So that could be pretty, pretty good. Uh, so and that pretty much covers all the leaks uh, after that we got like all the stuff We already have like uh, all this stuff, uh, but whatever I think that's pretty much that so I'm, I'm looking forward to all these new things being added to Duel Links And I think that would be pretty much that uh, go ahead and leave a like share and subscribe for more Duel Link shenanigans I guess, I guess I'll see you guys next time